Are you using your spiritual weapons? I know what you're thinking. What weapons? If Christianity is all about peace, love, and joy, why would we need spiritual weapons? The Bible tells us that we are in a war. This war has been raging since man was evicted from the Garden of Eden. I know. How can we be in a war when we don't see or hear a conflict going on? That's because this battle is taking place in the invisible spirit realm. The Bible makes it clear that we live in two worlds, the visible and the invisible, the natural and the spiritual. The natural or visible world is temporary. The spiritual world is permanent. The activity in the spiritual world has a direct effect on what is happening in the natural world. I know it's hard for those of us raised in a Western culture to accept the reality and importance of the spiritual world. We've been taught that reality is only what we can contact through our five senses. If something can't be measured, tested, or reproduced, then it's not real according to our society. That just isn't true. The invisible spiritual world is more real than the natural world because it's permanent. So what's going on in the spiritual world right now? There's a battle raging. The kingdom of God is in conflict with the kingdoms of Satan. They are fighting over a very big prize. That prize is you. God wants man to find the truth which will lead to eternal life. Satan wants to keep man in darkness by keeping the truth from him. We play a central role in this war. First, we decide who will win the battle for our own hearts. Then after becoming Christians, God gives us the privilege of joining in the battle to rescue others from darkness. To protect ourselves and set others free in the spiritual battle, we need weapons. The good news is that as Christians, we have access to the most powerful spiritual weapons in the universe. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. These weapons are so powerful that they will devastate, terrorize, disarm, starve, and suffocate Satan's forces. So what are these weapons and how do we use them? The most powerful one is repentance. When we repent and turn from our own sinful behavior, Satan loses his grip and his influence on our lives. That really frustrates him. The next most potent is forgiveness. When we forgive and give up hatred, bitterness, and resentment, Satan can no longer torment us with those thoughts. In a previous session, I told you the story of how a simple prayer of forgiveness led to a dramatic physical healing of a woman who had been in pain for 16 years. Forgiveness has power. Blessing others is a powerful, offensive weapon. When we bless someone, we release the power of the Holy Spirit into their lives. It pushes back the power of darkness. This infuriates demons. They don't want to be interfered with. They would prefer that you curse people since that strengthens their influence. Being thankful, it pushes out feelings of resentment, entitlement, and greed. It's also a blessing to others. Worship is a powerful weapon. In the spirit, spirit realm, it looks like this. Worship draws us closer to God and it releases the power of the Holy Spirit into our lives. Demons hate worship. It pushes them back like bug repellent. Loving people is a weapon. It releases blessing on them. It's God's way of touching the world through us. Loving is a powerful way to storm onto Satan's territory. If you start using these weapons today, you will become a victorious frontline soldier taking territory for God's kingdom. Now that's an exciting way to live. Make a difference today. Use your spiritual weapons. Remember, God wants you to be emotionally free. I'm Grant Mullen.